So last night, you hear the typical smoke alarm beep, but also do have a carbon dioxide meter that's new, but takes a battery. So that was my first guess because all my smoke alarms are 10-year ones, non-replaceable batteries, basically just buy new ones. So went in the living room, pulled it off, didn't hear a beep. I was like, okay, I'll just replace batteries, put it back on. Heard the beep again. Like, and now that means there's three. I have three of these. This is the hallway one, and we each have one of these in our rooms. These are only a year old, put up, and there's a date on here. June 2020, so these are supposed to last up to 10 years. Well, this one worked. As you can see, non replaceable batteries. The date on here is April 2018. Still works fine, right? Pulled it off just to make sure. You can test it by pushing these buttons if you didn't know. You hold down for a couple seconds, you'll get a horrendous beep and close your ears. So, um, whoever painted this apartment is a fucking retard because you're not supposed to paint over these because they save your life. It clearly says, do not paint on there. Do not paint. Do, don't ever paint over these. Just don't do it. There's very sensitive circuitry in here. Don't paint over it. So, replace these. Literally all three. One for the hallway, which was already replaced, by the way. And then, basically, you had two of these. So, one for each room. These are not cheap, I'm guessing, because they're the tenure ones. Well, now I'm going to buy two because I don't trust the one that's above my door, which is the exact same model. So, this one's still good. Tested it. Last 10 years. This one's older. 2018, which the date is right here. If you're wondering, if you look in the back, there's also a date on here. So, anytime you're wondering, if there's, these are permanent. As you can see, there's no battery door to replace batteries. These are the ones you want because if you get a regular one, the batteries go dead after like a year or so. Or there are maybe a couple years, depending on what kind of battery you get. And then... If you forget about it, which most people do, and you have fire and your battery's out, you, you probably die because this won't go off and wake you up. So, the logic here is these are supposed to be permanent batteries that last 10 years. So, that won't happen. So, basically, you can check the date and replace it. But if one happens to fail and you need to turn it off, as you can see, there's no way to turn these off. You basically have to, um, it says test silence. So, you can either smash the pieces of the hammer, which is fun, or I think you break the tab. There's directions at the back if you're curious. But these newer, more expensive, thinner, nicer ones, there's an activate and deactivate button right here. So when you buy it, make sure you read it, because you don't just put the bracket up and screw it on. When it's new, you have to go in here and you hit activate. You basically slide this up and it has a little arrow. Well, when it fails, you push down, otherwise you got the red light, and it's going to beep like every 40 seconds. So, broken, just push the tab down, check the date, good to go. But I need to buy two of these now, because this one failed. Well, I can tell you why it failed. And uh, if you look very closely, I don't know if we'll pick it up, but there's some standing on here. So looks to be uh, something was spilled on here. So, very sensitive. But, it was so sensitive that it beeped telling you that it doesn't work anymore. And, hey, stupid, replace me. So, 10 years? No. A year? Yes. But, the fact that, like, they're so sensitive that even, you probably can't see it. Just a little tiny bit of standing on there. It'll beep until you replace it. So, I don't know, moisture got in there or something, but you can tell the paper's all messed up too. I'll, I'll, I'll film a separate video on the other side. But it's no longer good because of that. So, considering the same brackets up there already, I'll just probably order these on Amazon or Walmart. And I'll order a couple because that one probably has the same issue, maybe. I don't trust them anymore if they got damp or something. So. First Flirt is a good brand. They make fire extinguishers. So, this one's older. The other one looks nicer. You can actually deactivate these really easy. If I push it up, watch, I'll show you. 
it's gonna be loud, but me, put my finger over here. So, as you can see, no red light, it's not beeping. Uh, if I activate it, it's gonna tell me it's broken and basically beep. So, red light, as you can see, now it's gonna beep. But if you hear these things beep like every minute, that means they're bad to replace them. If you have the old ones that take AA batteries, throw those away and get these 10 year ones. Come on, already beat. Of course, now it's not beeping. That's how broken it is. It was beeping. It started beeping like, I don't know, I had my headphones on, I was watching a movie. But shout out to Run Must for, I couldn't hear it. So, now it's not going to beep, but as you can see, watch, look. I'll deactivate the button on the back. Light goes away, it's not going to beep anymore, it's not going to annoy you, but it has to be replaced. And I don't want to look at the price on this thing, it's probably like 30 bucks. So, let's check the one above my door and see if it has the same issue. I'm glad it told me it's broken because look at that. 